emperors and kings. It's a modern day American castle with a heavy French accent. Monumental in land, size, and craftsmanship, the French Chateau sits atop ritzy Bel Air, California. When the homeowners hired architect Richardson Robertson III to build a French palace right here in America, they had only one rule, think bigger. They live their life bigger than life, and I, this house is meant to reflect that. You don't make an impeccably smooth facade like this without checking out the real thing. So after countless trips to France, Robertson built a house made of hand-picked French limestone. With the outside thoroughly Francofied, his next job was to make the inside as French as a baguette. That starts in the entry hall. I think the entry hall is a big surprise to a lot of people because when they walk in, they don't expect to see the backyard. And people like the park-like feel when you're in that entry hall. 24 karat gold trim is practically everywhere you look, accenting the columns above the doorway and 14 feet overhead on the coffered ceiling. When it came to furnishings, nothing short of the best would do. In some cases, the homeowners even outbid the Louvre Museum in Paris for these one-of-a-kind French antiques. Like this Louis XV console, carved from the very designs of the king's own architects. And some of the furniture even has a pedigree. This chair was reportedly French Emperor Napoleon's favorite resting place. And French Queen Marie Antoinette kept this fire screen in one of her palaces. In the Grand Salon, this table beside the settee once graced the halls of the Palace Versailles. But why stop at the furniture? How about this authentic antique mantelpiece? It's one of 10 that were recovered in France. They're 250 years old. This particular one's from the Louis XVI period. And just when you think you've run out of French connections, there's the curtains. The pattern was custom designed for Marie Antoinette. Though the homeowners couldn't get their hands on the real deal, they recreated the window dressings from the original 18th century fabric swatches. Finally, the two-story mahogany library is all about the numbers, and rare ones at that. After all, how many places in the world could you sit in a Louis XV chair while working at a Louis XVI desk surrounded by Louis XIV's keepsakes? Built of the grandest materials and furnished like the world's greatest museums, this French chateau could be a centuries-old country palace, but instead it sits in California and it's nothing short of home sweet amazing home. Even though the homeowners had a bidding war with the Louvre Museum in Paris, there were no hard feelings. The homeowners agreed to loan the museum furniture for future exhibits. <laughs>